Hi, my name is Tom Hogarty. I'm a Lightroom product manager here at Adobe. Since the introduction of Lightroom on mobile devices, our customers have been asking for streamlined camera to tablet workflows. Starting with iOS 13.2 and an upcoming Lightroom release, we will provide that seamless import experience directly within Lightroom. I tried some of the prior workflows, starting all the way back with the 30 pin SD card reader and everything in between. Today you can get by with a little due diligence, but unfortunately it's a two step process. Add the files to the camera roll, then add them to Lightroom. Then remember to remove them from the camera roll to free up space. That's a lot. So we're looking at the screen of my iPad Pro uh, running the current 13.2 and a beta version of Lightroom. I'm going to plug in the same USB card reader I use with my laptop. And I'm going to go ahead and say continue. That red dot shows you where I'm tapping. I took some pictures of the floor of our San Jose office where the Photoshop and Lightroom team gets a lot of work done. I wanted to share some of these pictures of the elevator wraps. You'll notice that all the files are shown most recent first, so if you wanted to grab that most recent shot, one shot or a bunch of shots, you could do that, or all of them. So let's go ahead and import. It's copying the photos, don't disconnect. And these are raw files from uh, Sony RX100. Let's go ahead and leave those on the card for now. I can disconnect. Let's go up and go to my recently added. And I can see right here, monster number one. I like this guy. Let's go ahead and do a little light editing. Okay, we're going to maybe brighten him up a little bit. Bring that contrast down. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's a little noisy, so let's, let's take some of that noise reduction out. That's a good baseline. Before we start getting into all the geometry, let's go ahead and copy settings. And this is great because this is a feature we just added in our November release. I'm going to go ahead and start selecting the other images. And you can see I can just paste the settings to five photos. And voila, that's it. So again, this is a, a great addition, a Lightroom Direct import on iOS. Um, these files are now going up into Creative Cloud so they can be found on any device, and they're just part of my image library. Uh, we're looking forward to getting this to you by the end of the year. Thank you.